Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to sync in After Effects. Um, this is basically what I do, uh, how I sync all my stuff. It, it, it does take quite a bit of time, and especially if you're not used to syncing in Twixter, because that's how I, I sync. But um, it's actually easy when you get the hang of it. It's just a matter of making sure it's perfect and... Uh, just getting all your keyframes sorted out. Alright, so first what you want to do is uh, I'll just get this clip I've got here. Hit this today. Quad feed game winning kill cam on hard hat. Alright, so just bring it back and I bring it up to say about here. Alright, now, now once you've got your clip sorted, just get your song. I'm going to use this song. And I'll have like the name of it in the description if you don't know what it is. Once you've got your song, you want to make sure the song is selected and you want to press L twice. And what that'll do is it'll show you the waveform. And I'll just bring this up a bit so it's easier for you to see. And um, basically, these parts of the waveform where they shoot up, it, depending on the song, it should be the uh, like the beat. So that'll be like one, dun, 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 like every one of those is a beat. So what you want to do once you've got all your clip and your song organized is to um, select your clip. I use Twixt Pro and um, make sure that your clip or your Twixt settings is on 59.94 frames per second. Um, frame interpolation is motion way to blend and warping is inverse smart blend. Once you got all that, all, once you got all that there, what you want to do is just I, I'm not sure where it's on a PC, but on a Mac, if you press Control and you press full stop. It'll do a ramp pre just of the music. So what you want to do is just scroll through your song until you find your um the part where you want it to shoot. So sort of like not like the drop because this song doesn't really have a drop, but the part where the the rhythm and everything kicks in, which should be about here. So what you want to do? is bring your playhead right over there just use the uh, plus and minus keys to zoom in on your timeline and if you hold command and press left or right it'll move a keyframe forward I think it's control on windows and you want to do it just so it's like either before or on that line once you're there press control 8 and you'll set a marker on that part, on that part of the uh, song so if you drag it, that type, that uh, marker will always be there, so you know where that part is. And then um, I'll just bring this down here. Uh, something that uh, looks good in montages, I'll show you. Let's just find out where this part sort of quiets down. Alright, so it quiets down about right about there. So you just set another marker there. Then what you want to do is just scroll through your clip and then get to the part where you start zooming in on your sniper. So like just as you start zooming in, which should be... about there, I think. So then just set your marker there. And then what you want to do is just go to this part of the timeline bring that clip over where the marker is and then what you want to do is just click on the stopwatch under speed and twixter uh, go forward one keyframe and change that from anywhere to 10 or less I'll go about 10 because this this break isn't that long it's about a second and then what you want to do is go onto that keyframe where the beat comes in and you want to just go back um, 
either 10 or 20 keyframes. The way I'm doing this is I'm holding <coughs> Command and Shift, which will move me forward and back 10 keyframes. So I like to do it in the middle, so I go 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's about 15. Then press U to show you keyframes. Add a new keyframe. And then what I do is go onto that marker. Make sure we're right there. And I just bring the speed up, 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 right up until I shoot, which is about there. And then set another keyframe straight after that, which brings it back down to 100. So I'll just import a, uh, a gun sound because when you twixter, it doesn't twixter the audio, so it comes out of sync. So let's bring that in. All right. And basically, once that's all sorted, just bring your clip back and set up your RAM preview. What I normally do when I'm editing, I have my RAM preview on resolution to half and the, the image thing here on half. That way it renders faster just so I know what I'm doing and just if I need to check syncing in that. And um, yeah, that's basically what I do that for just so I know what I'm doing. And if you have twisted all this correctly, put all your keyframes right, and got your markers on the music right, then it should be like this. Yep, so that's all good. Another cool thing I like doing, after I've shot, I go about 10 keyframes after I've shot, put a keyframe there, go one keyframe ahead, bring it down to like one or five. I'll make this one. And then we'll just scroll through the music till we find the next beat. Alright, so we've got one here. This time, because there's a longer gap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about 20 or 25 keyframes back. Was that 25? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. And set that keyframe there. Well, the, not the keyframe, the marker. Then get that speed. And bring that forward. Go one keyframe ahead and bring that back down to 100. Alright, so let me just save this so I don't lose this. Syncing tutorial. Alright, so now um, what I like doing, say this is a specific part, like say this is midway through my montage and I will keep wanting to go back and check this area. What I'll do is I'll get to the part of the video that I want. I press shift and I can press any number from 1 to 9 or 0. And what it will do, it will create this little thing here. And uh, what I like doing is just starting with 0 and just work it up in, well, um, just go up from 0 to 9. And basically what it is, what this does is you can have your playhead anywhere in the timeline and say this is the start of that clip in the montage. Say I'm at the end of the montage, I want to go back to that clip, I'll press 0 and it'll bring that the playhead straight back. So once I've done that, just go RAM preview. And um, yeah, so that's basically all there is to it. Doesn't take too long, but depending on the song, it can take a lot longer to work out where you want to place your shots because um, the the beat isn't that um, easily seen in the waveform. Alright. Yeah, so like chill music, 
generally is a lot easier because it doesn't have a lot of stuff going on and it usually has a really clean, clear, crisp sort of sound so it's really easy to see where the beat is and that. But stuff like Skrillex and other dubstep and it's, it's, it's harder, like you can still see it but it just takes a bit of time to actually make sure that you're placing the shots in that in the right spot. Um, drum and bass, that's a good one, really easy to sync to as well because it's got the drums and they're, they're very loud as well. Um, and like whenever I've edited drum, drum and bass, I haven't done it much because I haven't found much good drum and bass lately. Might do a couple soon, maybe another drum and bass um, OC. Uh, yeah, they're a lot easier to edit to and so is chill because the syncing is easy. Alright, so let's just play this back. Yeah, that's that a pretty sick uh, kill I got to that. When I got that, I was just like, holy shit. Because I got the quad feed and I was like, oh yeah, quad feed. And then at the end, it's like, round win. Or something. Yeah, victory score limit. And then it goes to the win kill cam. I was just like, oh shit, this is good, this is good. And um, guys, I've made a new, uh, I made a, what's it called? Uh, uh, it's a bit like a community channel. Basically a community channel. It's called Abon Cinema. I'll put a link in the description. It's, uh, it's a new channel I've started up. And I'm partner with Chris Cinema. Um, who is one of the guys who owns Malachik. Um and just send me some of your edits or uh, or clips, whichever one you like. Um, basically, I've just put my stuff up because I've got nothing else to put up, and I don't want to put like clips and montages to stuff out of channels just yet. I want to start getting some sent in, and then after I might, you know, just steal a couple from Flatline Editing or. Hot hot oil. Yeah. So um thanks guys and I uh, hope this really helped you out. I've seen many Twixter syncing tutorials and they all for some reason they just don't seem that easy, but this one I hope has been easy for you to follow. And um hope this has helped you out guys. See ya.